Ellis Harris Switbeck reporting. Advocates worry that there could be a new surge in Central American migrants, especially as the U.S. pursues plans to build a wall on the border with Mexico. For more on U.S.-Mexico relations, I'm joined now by international government affairs expert Ruben Olmos. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome back to the show. Always good to have you. Have to have we have with you. So, you know, let's look at this visit by Trump's cabinet members to Mexico City. Did it do anything to alleviate the tension between these two countries? Elaine, what really surprises me is that the Trump administration always has a little surprise before they meet with Mexican officials. As you can remember, last time before they traveled to Washington, the president announced the day before that he was going to build the wall. And two days ago, they announced new executive orders to build the wall and to start mass deportations of Mexicans. So uh, Mexicans in general are not very happy with the way uh, things are being conducted as we speak. This was indeed the first uh, official trip uh, with government officials at, at that level, at the cabinet level. Uh, the information that we're coming, the coming out from Mexico City is that it was a productive meeting. However, the uh, Mexican government was very, very straightforward and strict about not being in, in the same page when it comes to deportations, when it comes to the wall, when it comes to renegotiating NAFTA. What does it say, though, that they made the effort, the U.S. officials made the effort to go to Mexico City to try to have some dialogue? Uh, and, and how is the Mexican government having to wrap their heads around this and respond to all of this? You know, you and I have talked before how important this relationship is. This is the most important relationship for Mexico. Eighty percent of our exports come to the United States. Uh, we send uh, millions of tourists every year, and millions of tourists visit Mexico. It's, it's, we're bonded. We have a, a, a huge border. A lot of things happen legally in the border every single day. I think the Mexican government at this point is trying to rebuild and trying to relaunch the relationship. Um, they, they agreed that there's a lot of things that need to be revised, including NAFTA. I think there's, NAFTA needs to be modernized. You know, we need to include stuff that wasn't there before. Uh, issues like how you regulate e-commerce, for example, that, you know, 20 years ago when it was approved, it wasn't there. Uh, I think that President Peña Nieto, who has one and a half year in office, has this as a priority because he knows the importance of this relationship. In the past, in our past conversations, you have called this, under a previous U.S. administration, a dynamic relationship. Do you still consider it that way? And at what point does Mexico perhaps take a look and maybe realign its priorities and its relationships with other countries? Yes, that's a very good question. President Peña Nieto, a month and a half ago, made major changes in his cabinet, including we have a new foreign minister. This morning in the Senate in Mexico, uh, we have a new uh, Mexican ambassador to Washington coming up in the next couple of days. This, is, this reshift in his, in his team includes diversifying relationships. Mexico has a very strong relationship with Latin America, has a strong relationship with Asia, and as well with Europe. So President Peña is setting up new strategies to try to diversify commerce uh, and, and other relationships. Now, I don't, I don't think we should go you know, very fast. I think that we should revise what we have with the United States. Again, we're neighbors. It's a dynamic relationship. There's a lot of cooperation needed in security and many other fronts. But Mexico is trying to diversify. What do you make of the, what was said uh, in these meetings today by the United States? No mass deportations, no use of military forces um, when it comes to some of these other issues. Do you believe or does Mexico believe what is being said? Do they trust what will happen? Going back to our first question, I think the uh, Peña Nieto administration is very skeptical and is very careful with all these surprises they have had to encounter over the last month since the Trump administration started. And I think that throughout the campaign, Mexicans were kind of waiting to see if this was really going to happen. And now that it happened, I think they need to be more cautious. I think they, 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 are, they are receiving the information with skepticism. But at the same time, I think that they understand that they need to work with somebody. The concern that they, a lot of public officials have is that the ministers go down and say something, but then the president changes the whole rhetoric. So I think that's something that remains uh, something that we need to review and something that's going to, I think it's going to move eventually, but the Mexican government is very skeptical. All right, Ruben, as always, we appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for having me.